Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 45, jump game 2. Here we are given an array of nums and with a length of n. And we are at the starting position which is nothing but nums of 0. And we need to return the minimum number of jumps to reach nums n minus 1. Okay, now let's see the logic behind this. So here I have taken the first example that has been given in the lead code website. So the first rule of this particular problem is, so my jump i plus j will be within my array. Okay, it is guaranteed in this particular problem. And I need to return the minimum number of jumps required to reach n minus 1. n minus 1 is 3, right? n minus 1 is index. Okay, that is 3, third index. Okay, I need to run a loop from 0 to n minus 1 from 0 to 3 here okay in the question they are saying we are at 0th index okay and the values that are present in the array are the number of jumps i can make forward okay the number of jumps that i that i can make forward for example here there is two right i can jump two steps ahead okay so i will reach index 2 from 0 to second index, I can jump. That's what this 2 means. Okay. And if I pick 3, I will jump here. Okay. From first index to plus 3. Okay. This 3 is the value 3. Okay. So I can move, I can jump till the fourth index. Okay. Also, we need to keep track of the number of minimum jumps. Okay, these are jumps. So, I need to check the minimum jump that will be required to reach my n minus 1. Now, we will see how we are going to do it. So, here I have three variables. So, one is max reach, one is jumps, and one is end. Okay. Now, I'm going to run a for loop from 0 to n minus 1. I'm going to iterate to the array. So, I'm going to keep track. Okay. For example, assume this is the first value that I'm going to pick. Okay. I am at the 0th index. So, at first, my i will be 0. So, this is my first iteration. My i will be pointing to 2 and it will be zeroth index okay so then i will update my max reach i will let you guys know what is max reach in a minute i will update it with max of max reach itself and i will update it with current index plus current element okay so what i'm going to do here is I will, this max reach is nothing but the maximum jump I can make from the current element. So here I value 0 plus nums of i, which is nothing but the value to itself. So from 0th index, I can make two jumps. Okay, plus 2. So I'm going to get 2. So, initially my max reach will be 0, right? Here 0. So, it will be 0. So, I will take max out of this. The maximum jump I can make from 0th index. Then I will update it in my max reach. Now, I will check my current index. I need to check whether I have reached my end. Okay? I will check by if i is equal to equal to my end whether i will check whether my i index has reached the end index or the n minus 1 index i will update my end index with my max reach then i will increase my jump so this jump will be the minimum minimum jump that i can make to reach my end index so here i is equal to n right so 0 and here end is also 0 i is pointing to 0 and end is also 0 
so it means i have reached my max index so now i will update my end and i will increase my jump by one okay now i will move my i pointer to the next element i will only run till here n minus one now i will be one first index now i will update my max reach so max reach initially it is two now i will add my current index that is one here and the current element that is three here now it is four so i'm going to update my max reach here with four so what i'm doing here i'm doing the maximum end the maximum end i'm going to reach okay within the minimum number of jumps that's what i'm doing here so i will i'm going to make max reach as four and i'm going to check whether i reached my previous end still my, i didn't reach my second index right the end is equal to two my i is e pointing to one i still didn't reach my second index that means end end index so i'm going to again run the loop now my i will point here okay now i will become two and my max reach has been updated to four and i'm going to add my current index that is two plus the current element that is one and it will become three and i'm i'm not going to update my max reach since it's already four now i'm going to check whether i have reached my previous end or not okay i have reached right i have reached now i'm going to update my end with my maximum reach and i'm going to increase my jump by one that is now it will become two and it's always guaranteed that my max reach will not go beyond n minus one okay and i'm not going to get my third index right since i'm going to run till n minus one which means i will end my loop from here itself okay and finally i will return jumps so i will also explain you guys again so initially my i will be zero right so then i'm going to update my end with two right this is my end initially it becomes my end i'm going i'm keep on checking how many jumps i can make till i reach my end here between here from zero to two i can make one jump initially it was one right so then i'm going to extend my end pointer so it's guaranteed that my end pointer will be within n okay then when my i reaches here to the second index which was my previous end then i'm going to update then i'm going to update my end okay then i'm going to update with four then i'm going to check how many jumps i can make to reach my n minus one so here is it is my n minus one so between here i'm going to jump by one again so i'm going to increase my one that's what here it is now we will see the code before we code if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys so first i will take n is equal to length of my array then i am going to have a edge condition where if i n is equal to 1 then i'm going to return 0 i don't have to do any jumps okay now i'm going to initialize my variables my max reach my jump variable and then my end variable all it will be equal to zero at the start okay then i'm going to run the for loop from zero to n minus one within the range of zero to 
n minus 1. Then I am going to here update my max reach at the start. I will take the maximum of max reach itself. I will add my current value and the current element. Okay. Then I will check if i is equal to my end or not. Okay. If I reach my end, I will make end is equal to max reach. And I will update my jump here with 1. I will increase with 1. And finally, I will return jump. Okay, I'm, I keep tracking my end at each and every jump. Okay, that's what I'm doing here. Okay, then finally, I will return jump. I think it's fine. Let's run the code. As you guys see, it's pretty much efficient. And the time complexity is for this problem is order of n. And the space complexity is order of 1, constant space. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. And also press the bell icon in order to get the notifications whenever I upload the videos. And keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers guys.